what is going on the private lines and the lines that cannot stop wrong welcome back to a brand new video if you guys are new to the channel and don't want to miss out please make sure to subscribe drop the video a like and also hit that notification bell so you guys will never miss out on any future videos but anyways in today's video I want to tell you guys how to get into photography whether it's a wedding that you guys want to start shooting or just make it your business doing portraits for people it could do it could be real estate it could be literally anything and I want to tell you guys how to get into it what you guys should know when getting into this and um, you know a few tips and tricks that I learned when I started doing photography and this is my first camera this is the Canon T5 this has been my baby since forever and still I use this to this day so if you guys want a best budget entry level camera check out the Canon T5 it's a uh, definitely a camera worth getting so um anyways jumping into it I want to say a few things um, right off the bat you know photography is endless literally like you could shoot anything it could be people it could be cityscape it could be architecture it could be real estate it could be automotive literally the list goes on and on and on like it's insane that's why I love photography it's a moment that you capture that will never be replicated or taken uh, ever again because of the fact that you snap that shutter at that instant that moment and it will never come back so anyways you capture the moment and that's why I love photography I love what it stands for and um, I'm so thankful to be a part of a great photography uh, community so if you want to go check out my work Make sure to go uh, follow me on Instagram at InfamousNick underscore underscore. I do a lot of street photography, urban photography, uh, automotive and portraits and stuff like that. I do it all, but um, I mainly focus in like, you know, just storytelling photos, walking around the city, taking photos of random people and, um, you know, just letting the viewers, the audience that I've, I've grown um, decide what the story is saying. So anyways, jumping into it. Um, one tip that I could give you guys when you're starting out doing photography is be yourself, be true to yourself, and um, don't let anyone tell you anything otherwise. You know, I've I've had people criticize me, and you know, tell me my work you know isn't good. I had a bunch of people tell me my work is good, and you know, as long as I'm happy with the content that I'm making and producing or capturing, that's something that means a lot more than what other people think. If you go out and enjoy photography, you're doing it for an enjoyment, a hobby, um, that's what it's supposed to be like. You're not supposed to do it for someone's enjoyment or for the clicks, the views, the likes. All that comes after the enjoyment and all the you know hard work you put into it. Your your hard work will, will soon pay off and people will you know understand it. Uh, since there's such a broad um, range of photography, Maybe somebody might not like your work, you know, because they're more into something else. You might be doing cityscape, they might like architecture, who knows, uh, or the nature. So, it's a hit or miss, you know what I mean? So don't let people get to you, be yourself, be true to yourself, and what work, a field, do you want to continue doing? Just because it might not work out, does not mean if you're not happy, you have to stop. You know, if you're happy, continue doing it, and push forward, and always be true to yourself. Step. Uh, I guess uh, another uh, tip I could give you is it's not about what gear people have okay um, I could literally go shoot on my iPhone right here this iPhone right here um, I could go shoot and take amazing phenomenal photos on this phone and people might think I have a professional camera which I've done I've shot countless times on my iPhone because I'm walking around I don't have my camera on me so I thought something looked cool and I just snapped the photo and people were like, wow, you know, that's a beautiful photo. So don't let people discourage you on you need an expensive camera or you need gear or whatever. That all comes over time, but it's the vision that you have for your um, photography. It's about the creativeness of you. You know, you have to be creative when you're doing photography. Be different, stand out, do something that no one has ever done. You know, I've seen a lot of people replicate photos. I've done it myself where I try to replicate images of other photographers. But the main thing I've learned was you have to just be yourself, be creative, think what you think will look creative, if that makes sense. Something unique, something outside the box. 
um, think like that and I'm pretty sure it's gonna come super easy to you and you're gonna start once you get that first creative mind like uh, put a photo done you're gonna start thinking about other things like okay this will look cool here or this will look cool there you know just think about it um, another tip I could give you when starting out doing photography let's say for example you do um, you know cityscapes or storytelling photos walk around your city without a camera just observe observing will definitely go a long way because you're not familiarized with the place you see how people are walking you see where people are going you're seeing how the sun is setting you are seeing how the light sits at certain times um, you see a lot of things and when you go back with the camera everything should be starting to like you know come easy because when you're walking alone without a camera and observing and being creative you're thinking about all these ideas like okay this person here will look cool with the city shot right there the sun is hitting at this certain time imagine walking somebody walking right there the light hits them contrast you know stuff like that so my biggest tip um, is to make sure you are walking around first the area that you want to go shoot and just think brainstorm keep brainstorming you know that goes a long way because the next time you go back you're not lost looking for you know dang I didn't get this shot or dang you know this didn't come out good because all that's discouraging so make sure to go out in your city walk around you know brainstorm just think listen to music look around observe you know just vibe out you know just be creative be yourself um, let's get into gear. I touched on it a bit. Um, like I said, best entry level camera that I ever got was a Canon T5. They have the T6, the T7s, you know, th they have a bunch of Canons. But this camera has still, in 2022, this camera has put in work for me. I've done a wedding with it, I've done uh, portraits with it, made money off of it, you know, bunch of stuff. Cityscape. Um, I've also done some automotive stuff, you know, this camera has done it all and still does all that it could do. I'm recording on my Sony right here, I will show you guys, but obviously I can't. But that camera, I, <laughs> I shoot so much things on this camera, it's unbelievable. Recording videos, taking photos in New York, traveling, vlogs, you name it, I do it in the rain, snow, heat, cold anything this camera is durable it's a Sony a6400 ranges from about 800 to a thousand dollars I feel like you know if you don't get a, a Canon T5 or a T7 make sure to check out the Sony a6400 it's around the same price range if not um, definitely a little bit pricier this is about like 300 to 400 bucks but anyways like I said it's not about the gear or your preference um, it's all about your preference yep it's all about your preference but um, yeah, so gear is definitely important, but don't worry too much about it. Like I said, it's about your creativity, not, um, you know, what camera you have or whatever. Somebody can have the best camera in the whole entire world and just take pictures of grass. And, you know, you're a city person. You take photos of cityscape or storytelling photos. All that stuff, you know, it doesn't matter. It's all about the community you want to grow and also the audience you want to see work, like your work. So. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Um, you know, it's it's all it's all BS. But another you know tip I could give you guys is if you guys are doing photos for people or just cityscape or just any photos in general, make sure to have a great editing software. Uh, my previous video I talked about a tablet that I use and how convenient it is and it helped me because you know I could edit on the go in a sense. So if you guys are getting into photography I highly highly recommend using uh, an editing app uh, me personally I use Adobe Lightroom Adobe Lightroom you could get a lot of presets if you don't know how to create presets you could get them um, from other photographers or just you know go on the explore page on you know Lightroom and you could just save a preset that you find you know fits your style you know so uh, you could definitely editing your photo enhances the image so if you see a lot of photographers like with the moody setting, the dark tones, you know, the, the, the smoky look, whatever, or the blue tint, a lot of people use the blue tints, um, urban photography, I guess you could say. So definitely need an editing software. Um, my preference is Adobe Lightroom again. 
It's uh, pretty cheap a month, but it's free to use. Um, you are limited to certain things, but majority of the stuff you could use um, while it's free, but it is pretty cheap a month. Um, you could get on your mobile device, you can get on your computer, or even on your tablet. So, um, that's that. Um, another thing I could say is um, being able to be versatile in a sense. Like, you know, when it comes to doing portraits and stuff, um, if you're into that, don't be afraid to, you know, ask, ask your, the person you're shooting, um, hey, you know, am I doing something wrong? Be, be open-minded, you know, let them criticize you. Criticism is the best thing in photography. That's the only way you can get better. And being criticized helps you in the long run because if someone lies to you and tells you, hey, yeah, you're doing great, you know, don't worry, I look great, but then they never post your photos, then obviously something has happened. Something that they did not like in your work and they don't message you, they don't recommend you to anybody. You know, just be open. When I do shoots, I'm like, hey, you know, what is your best side? You know, is it this side or is it this side? I try to capture that, you know? And, you know, seeing how they pose and stuff like that, don't be afraid to tell them how to pose because they're lost too. You know, they might be, you know, they don't fit your vision. You're, you're creating a vision for them. So, definitely think about that when doing photography. Um, another thing which is a little bit off off topic, or not off topic, but a little sidetrack from what I just spoke about, um, is starting your shooting, right? Like, I shoot in manual, and it took me quite a long time to understand manual. Now, manual shooting is where you control every single aspect of your image or that you're gonna take a photo of. Um, whether it's the ISO, the f-stop, which is the field of depth, or the um, shutter speed. So all of that plays a role on capturing images. Now, you can either um, underexpose the image, overexpose the image, all that stuff. It, it's just insane. It's, it's a mind blowing. So do a lot of research on, you know, manual, but for now, if you want, shoot in auto. I shoot raw images because if you shoot JPEG, um, you do get colors and, you know, it kind of fixes it in a, in a sense, but I shoot raw because I like to go and, you know, fix my colors and add my colors and stuff like that, um, you know, enhancing them rather than, you know, I if I was to saturate a JPEG image, it would just be too orange or too blue or whatever it may be, what color it is, but um, definitely learn or start off and, you know, mess around in the auto mode and then, you know, work your way up once you understand how certain things should be tweaked uh, to your liking uh, when it comes to lighting you know, field of depth, you know, bokeh, all this stuff, you know, um, that's when you could conquer manual, shooting in manual, and it took a while, but definitely worth it, and I'm definitely happy I shoot in manual, but, um, hopefully I didn't ramble on too much, and hopefully I helped you guys with a few tips on how to begin photography, this is all my experience, this is all my, you know, trial and errors, do not feel discouraged, that's the main thing in photography. Don't feel or compare yourself to others, whether it's their camera gear, whether it's their way of editing, whether it's their photos, getting a lot of likes, it doesn't matter as long as you enjoy doing what you do. That's all that matters at the end of the day and people will appreciate your work. So anyways, this has been your boy Infamous Nick and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace out. Yes.